packaging of category B shipments. Biological substance category B must be packed in compliance with the IATA Dangerous Goods Regulation Packing Instruction 650. IATA Dangerous Goods Regulation Packing Instruction 650 requires that a package must be of the triple packaging method. Triple packaging involves the following packaging elements. Leak proof for liquids or sift proof for solids, primary or receptacle, such as a test tube or a vial, etc., as shown in the accompanying graphic. This means the tubes or vials must be strong and capped in such a way as to prevent leaks during transport. If multiple fragile primary receptacles are placed in a single secondary packaging, such as the one shown, they must be either individually wrapped in bubble wrap or so on, or separated to prevent contact between them. The secondary packaging, which is the second part of the triple packaging, requires an internal pressure test for those packagings containing liquids of at least 95 kilopascals in the range of minus 40 degrees Celsius to 55 Celsius. These packages can be purchased from very reliable and they're not very expensive and they do meet these criteria. There must be absorbent material. As you can see in this graphic, there is a secondary packaging which is basically a bio bag and the yellow uh, stuff is absorbent material that can absorb any of the blood or, or whatever should there be a leak. So the first part of the triple packaging is the actual primary packaging itself, so in this case a vial or test tube. The second part is the intermediate packaging, which in this case is a bio bag with absorbent material. And the third part is the outer packaging, or in other words, a fiberboard box. So the inner packaging is placed into a secondary packaging, as seen here, and then the whole thing placed inside of a strong, rigid outer packaging, such as in the case of the ambient shipment shown below. And there is your triple packaging, the test tube, the intermediate packaging, and the fiber box. The outermost packaging, meaning the box, has to be marked with a diamond inside of which is UN 3373 and the words biological substance comma category B. We call this a marking because technically you could literally draw this on the box. However, enterprising entrepreneurs have created labels with this stuff on it. You must also put the name and address of the shipper and consignee as well as the name and phone number of the person responsible for this shipment. The kind of person who can provide the sort of information emergency responders require when there's a spill or a leak. Here's an example of a real life packaging. It's a white fiberboard box with a big UN3373 and alongside of it to the lower right would be the proper shipping name and UN number and the rest is the from and the to. This concludes this video. If you require further commentary, information, please don't hesitate to call Quick International Courier or Sterling Courier Customer Service Desk. So thank you so much for your attention. Hope we can be of service.